Hey guys, Thundi E here, and today we are going to be talking about my top five gaming smartphones for 2019. And I'll be giving one of these devices away at the end of this video. Twenty nineteen saw uh, the increase of devices that gamed really well, and also gaming smartphones that showed us a lot of great performance and a lot of great features. Now, my very first device at number five is the Xiaomi uh, Redmi Note Eight Pro. Now, the Redmi Note Eight Pro is a lovely device. Well, what I like about the uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note Eight Pro is that it starts at two hundred fifty-five dollars, sub three hundred dollars smartphone. It's got a six point five three inch display. So I've got a 4,500 milliamp battery, so big battery, and it's powered by the MediaTek Helios G90T processor. Some really good performance on here. You're playing Call of Duty Mobile, you're playing PUBG. You would get the performance that you'd like in a gaming smartphone, uh, not maybe your top tier, but again, at a price that you can definitely deal with. Eight gigs of RAM, enough storage. I think this is just a solid buy at 255 bucks. Now, moving in at number four is one that might shock you guys. This is the LG G8X ThinQ. Now, the G8X ThinQ is an interesting device because, yeah, it looks like a normal phone. Now, it's powered by the Snapdragon 855 processor. It's got six gigs of RAM. You've got a 4,000 milliamp battery. You've got fast charging here, 21 watt fast charging. But what's unique is that this also comes in most, in most places you buy it with a case that has a second display. Now, you've got a 6.4 inch display, 2340 by 1080p. Now, you've got two of those matching resolution displays. This allows you to have something that no other device on this list can claim, is you can have a dual screen setup where your second screen is your controller setup. And it's absolutely cool. You can map your controller for any game you have, and each game has a different map layout, uh, controller layout, which is truly unique and great. Now, this would have been my number one phone if, LG had included triggers on that case. Now, because there are no triggers, it's a little bit difficult to play in shooters like Call of Duty Mobile or PUBG on this effectively. And that's what I think truly just holds this back because I think this is a great platform to actually game on. And I think a lot of gamers will like it. So LG, take notes. So moving in at number three is the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Yes, although this is not a gaming device, what this phone does really well is the fact that it opens up from, of course, a regular phone into a 7.3 inch device uh, that gives you the most amount of real estate you can ever think of to play any of your games. So you're playing uh, PUBG Mobile, you're playing Call of Duty, you've got enough space to see everything. Now, it doesn't shine on specs either. It's got a Snapdragon 855 processor. You've got 12 gigabytes of RAM, there's enough RAM here. You've got UFS uh, 3.0, of course, uh, storage. So really fast read and write storage, especially when you're playing a lot of games. 4380 uh, milliamp battery. The battery is actually pretty good on this device. 15 watt charging is a bit slower than everybody else, but performance on here is really good. Uh, games look really great. And again, that real estate is second to none. I truly like using this device to game, and I think a lot of people will because it just gives you the most amount of space while playing on a mobile device. Now, my number two device is actually two devices here, uh, but the same family. I'm talking about the Nubia Red Magic 3 and Magic 3S. Now, they're very similar devices. One came out earlier in the year. Uh, the second one came out towards the end of the year. Uh, both of them are pure gaming devices. Now, in terms of displays, they both have 6.65 inch displays. Uh, the resolution, of course, is 2340 by 1080p. Both have 5,000 milliamp batteries. Now, the key difference here is that uh, one has the Redmi, uh, the Red Magic 3 has an A55. Red Magic 3S has, of course, an A55 Plus. I'm gonna focus on the Red Magic 3S here because 855 plus, you can see the gaming design. You've got RGB lighting at the back of the phone, a fingerprint sensor. You've got a 48 megapixel camera, but of course it is a beefy device. Now 12 to 12 gigs of RAM on here. Uh, and of course you do have the game center button. You switch that button, it takes you into game mode. Where there's an inbuilt fan you can turn on to actually cool your device while you're gaming. Uh, you've got of course the ability to remap certain buttons because you've got triggers at the very top 
of the right hand side of the phone so you can actually use this as trigger buttons especially for your shooters like PUBG Mobile and of course Call of Duty Mobile and it makes gaming on those games so good and really nice. Big battery, 5,000 milliamps, means you can game for quite an amount of time. And not forgetting, it's got a 90 hertz display, so really fast refresh rate. Looks really good, feels really good to game. If you're a gamer, this is literally a great phone for you to pick up. Pricing starts around, you know, $600, and I think it's a solid smartphone at this price point. Uh, in terms of fast charging, you've got 18 watt fast charging on here, and I truly like it. Either you're getting the uh, the Red Me, sorry, the Red Magic 3 or the Red Magic 3S. Both of them are really, really solid. And finally, our number one gaming smartphone is the ASUS ROG Phone 2. ASUS came out this year strong with the ROG Phone 2. 6.59 inch display. It's got a 6,000 milliamp battery. I think this thing lasts for days. I mean, I'm talking about just days. Resolution 2340 by 1080p. You've got a Snapdragon 855 Plus processor. That display is 90 hertz, but the other thing is also got 120 hertz uh, touch sampling which means while you're sliding on that screen, it feels really smooth. And this is why this makes it the best gaming experience. Now, coupled with that, you've also got, you know, touch sensitive areas on the right hand side of the device, giving you triggers where you can remap buttons again for your shooters and other games, giving you more dexterity while you're gaming. And of course, the game center there is fully equipped, uh, showing you, of course, all your stats from your FPS, your temperature, your GPU and CPU levels, those kind of things, recording on screen, so much more that make it such an in-depth device. Not forgetting also, you do have UFS 3.0 storage, so giving you fast storage and the RAM goes up to 12 gigabytes. Now this device starts at around $559 and goes all the way up to about a thousand, but this is your premier and cream of the crop gaming smartphone. And I think one, like look, if you're a gamer and you, you want to go all the way, this is what you're gonna pick. So there you have it guys, those are the five gaming smartphones uh, of 2019 that I think are the just top five that you can pick from, uh, be it something as cheap as of course the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro or something as versatile and uh, massive display as the, as the Galaxy Fold or even a dual display like the LG G8X. Uh, you've got devices here for you. And as I mentioned earlier, we are giving away one of these devices and that is the Nubia Red Magic 3. This is an awesome device, of course, with the Snapdragon 855, 90 hertz display, solid gaming device. And to enter to win, you have to, of course, use a Gleam link down below to enter and you are good to go. Um, of course, I will announce the winners in two weeks. Uh, I will announce the winners through Gleam and also on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter as well uh, and uh, you will see the answers there. So thank you very much, guys. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy the entertainment.